evening, everybody. We are thrilled to have you join us for our open house. Our fourth graders have been working incredibly hard to prepare two special presentations for you. They have a Spanish skit as well as a tour of California. So I'd like to welcome up our lovely Spanish teacher, Senor Millet, to introduce our Spanish play. Buenas noches, señoras y señores. The fourth grade class has prepared a play for you about the, the fruit of the Holy Spirit. It's called El Fruto del Espíritu Santo. Hola, amigos. La Biblia habla del fruto del Espíritu Santo. ¿Qué es el fruto del Espíritu Santo? Es hacer la voluntad de Dios. Les vamos a contar una historia. Había una vez dos amigas. Una era muy orgullosa. La otra era humilde y obediente. La semilla orgullosa no quiso ser sembrada. Pero la semilla humilde y obediente sí. La semilla orgullosa se fue lejos. En la tierra estaba muy oscuro. Nosotros queremos ser buenos amigos. ¡Gracias! 
Wonderful job, fourth graders. Didn't they do a great job yes. on their Spanish presentation? One more round of applause. <laughs> we are so very proud of all of your diligence this year. I just want to start off by saying I have loved getting to know all of you throughout the year, and I so appreciate your diligence in collaboratively working together, um, showing enthusiasm for all of the research projects we've had, and also creatively displaying your knowledge. Um, before we begin, I also want to express my gratitude to all the parents. It's been such a joy getting to know all of you this year. And um, it's just, we really appreciate your partnership and your care in helping your child to grow. Um, a special shout out to our amazing room moms, Mrs. Garwick and Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> They have worked so hard to plan many fun activities for our students and an extra thank you to Mrs. Robinson for also being our AR mom and encouraging our students to consistently read. Yay. As you know, our students have learned all about California history this year from when it first became a state to what it is today. And uh, we have just had a lot of fun. And as you know, they've each become a landmark expert. Earlier in the year, each student researched a landmark by reading many books and articles, writing a research report, making a project, and presenting a speech to their class. Later on in the year, they took that information and they added persuasive elements to convince a reader why that landmark was a place worth visiting. So on stage today, our students have prepared a script all by themselves in groups. They are very excited to convince you where you should take your summer vacation, so be listening. <laughs> and they've also created a poster. So we're very proud of them and we hope that you enjoy the ride. So fourth graders, I'm gonna hand it off to you.
We're starting off with the oldest historic building in California. What do you call a giant building with five bells that overlooks the ocean? Can I see some hands? <laughs> yes, Ms. Meister? A mission? <laughs> yes. <laughs> in San Diego. This historic building was the first mission ever established and is a vacation hotspot for this summer. Make Mission Basilica San Diego de Alcala your number one vacation choice because of the museums, the multiple gardens, and the wonderful Presidio Park. Starting off, the Mission Museum holds many native artifacts, such as baskets, arrowheads, and bulls. There is also an active Roman Catholic chapel and the historic Casa de los Padres, or House of the Friar. In addition, you will view the elegant church, which has many colorful paintings. After observing the museum's fantastic artifacts and chapel, head on over to the Meditation Garden, which is a peaceful area. It has many tall palm trees, Mugnavilia, which is a type of flower, and aloe vera, which is a cactus. After relaxing in the garden, take a trolley over to Presidio Park. This Presidio was first colonized to protect Spanish citizens. Next, take a peek inside the incredible Junipero Sand Museum, which is located inside the Presidio. Visitors can see many can see many artifacts so that it may contain an informative display for people to see what daily life was on the missions. Tourists can see old remains of the Presidio in the museum and cannons on top of the Presidio, which you might never know. They might fire again. <laughs> <laughs> you won't regret booking your tickets to the special settlement, which was the first mission of them all. So hop on the trolley to Mission San Diego, and, and we'll see you then. <laughs> Arcade, which has more than 200 arcade games. 
is famous for his skee ball games, hockey tables, claw games, a shooting gallery, foosball, and free throw contest. Visitors love their variety we have here. Try your skills on Street Fighter 2 or Mario vs. Capcom and old classes like Super Mario Bros. and Pac Man. So skip Disneyland and bring your cold toys to the Santa Monica Pier where you will have an absolute blast of all of our activities, rides, and food. I can assure you that you will have the time of your life here at the Santa Monica Pier.
You won't regret taking this trip to San Francisco. It will be your number one vacation out of them all. You will remember this trip because of the walking paths, superior restaurants, and most importantly, the Golden Gate Park. Come to the Golden Village of California. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. 
know about you, but I think they made our decision for our summer vacation very hard. Can we give them one more big round of applause? <laughs> Excellent job, fourth graders. You did a great job convincing our parents uh, where they should go this summer. Uh, we would love to share with you more landmark facts and uh, all the students work in the classroom. So we're going to make our way back and then you can join us and they'll share with you everything that they've done this year. So thank you for coming tonight and we'll see you soon.